Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer world. So, right now, last time we came to see Porter, and there's a lot of outlaws here that need to be taken out. What is this? Oh, Officer's fine, very nice. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun. Now, I will warn you, this video needs to be a little bit shorter than normal. Well, especially shorter than the last few days, because... I'm actually very, very busy right now, and I don't have a ton of time, but I think a good 25 minutes or so should be pretty good for this video. Oh. Malfunctioning sentry. Here we go. Wow, they did, like, no damage to him. Nice hit. That's the last of them. Oh. That was a little, uh... I found a flaw in you, flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that you can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. Robophobia. Auto mechanicals now give you the willies, and when you're, they're attacking your party, you're not as effective as they should be. I get a perk point in exchange for less dexterity, perception, temperament. Another perk point, you say? Hmm... You know what, let's have a little bit of fun. We'll try it. Alright. So if I get an extra perk point by being robophobic. 65% movement penalty to accuracy. Transfer set companion ability. Don't use those. Using another companion's ability. Nope. TDT, TTD restored per kill. Science weapon damage. Sounds like fun. Cooldowns. Health restored per kill. Sounds like fun. Movement speed. Bonus to extra headshot. Weak spot damage. That's not bad, 20%. Better consumable weight, better carrying capacity, interactable highlight range. I like that one, the collector. Vendor buying prices. I, oh, you know, you know, I gotta do this one. Dialogue skill. Oh, yeah. I was hoping there was one that gave us a little bit more armor. Was there one up here that gave us more armor? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking things. Maybe that was level 2 for Parvati and whatnot. But alright, now I am a robophobic. Oh, uh, robots. They're very scary. The terminal. You gotta love the terminals. Bit cartridges. Ah, oh, sure. We'll pick this lock. You're fast. You know it, Parvati. I am very fast. Very nice. There's a magazine. Nothing in the bin. Let's pick up a cell. Pick up all the goodies. Energy cell. Bit cartridges. You'll have to show me how to do that. What was that? Oh, pick up a book. Thank you for your body. I appreciate it. Oh, and of course we gotta pick all these things. Nice. Open her up. I think that's probably what's gonna be on the terminal. Just unlocking all this stuff, so... And I haven't found any messages yet on the terminals. Ah, oh, screw it. I want that XP. There you go. Please enter... Well... That was a waste. Uh, we can pick it. That might be worth it. It might not be. Let's let's save our things. We can't spend all of our stuff. Of all of our uh, picks. Hello. I love your body. Thank you. This looks like a door. Water resistant wear casual. Better tech skills. Hello. No. Oh, where are you coming? Where'd you come from? Well done. What? We're still alive. Okay. Um, if you can teleport underneath the stairs, that's great. Yeah. I didn't know you had that uh, ability, my companions. Maybe I should tell you to do more combat related. Holy crap. Whoa. We got a jumper. Dude. Thank you. Our body's going in for the kill. I hit Vicar Max. There we go. Alright. What's going on here? That's a body. Oh, monolens. Very nice. I'll take you that off your body. 
I don't think these guys will really need very much else. Parvati really took quite a beating there, it looks like. There has to be a key around here somewhere. Oh, I'll find it. You can bet your little booty I will probably find it before we go anywhere else. Good, we're in. Nice. I do want to use... I do want to explore this area, that's what I want to say. I want to explore the area. Explore your body. Shotgun. Ah, terminal. Security key card. Thank you very much. Fight patch. Spectrums. Mm, I said I didn't want to spend too much earlier. I'm going to spin on this. Ooh, that was worth a 10 bypass shunts and mag picks. Delicious. Loot his office. Because he's probably not going to come back here. You know, maybe, probably not. Music box. Necklace. Alright. Bit cartridge. Ooh, exo helmet, nice. Alright, what else do we need here? We need the data. As well as eliminate the outlaws. There's a lot of there's a lot of bodies here. Well corporate commander. Take that stuff. Thank you. Uh it's not great that you're dead, but you know it's better that you're dead than me. I could use probably a vendor, honestly. Nice. Yeah, I'm the type of guy. Oh, there is a vendor. Cool. We'll use that when we're done here. Because I'm sure I'm going to not use all this stuff. we we'll use quite a bit of it. But, uh. Oh, nice. It's an auto mag pistole. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Rizzo's self serving snack system. Weaponry. Oh, my goodness. We got a lot of weaponry. 25 bits. Sounds good to me. I'm not even going to check this. Ooh, a hammer. Um, 68, that's cool. Get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of this. Get rid of that. That's some of the lower selling stuff, that's pretty low selling. And we get rid of that, get rid of that. I'll deconstruct the rest of that stuff. Armor-wise, ooh. You know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory. We're almost level 11. Level 55. Very good. Plasma rifle. The vermin. I like the vermin. It was a pretty good thing to have. Armor. 12. Let's see. 14. Plus 3 science. Even though this gives you plus 5 lock picking. I like the lock picking a little bit more. But. Uh, it's more science. I really like the lock picking. 9. Yeah. A lot of stuff isn't bad. More block. Dialogue skills. Dialogue. But this gives you hack. Dialogue, we're already focused very hard on dialogue, so. Stealth, tech, tech, engineering. Oh. Heavy grade face, more determination, more sneak, or elite trooper armor. Yeah. Alright, well, how about Parvati? She's got a hammer and a shotgun. That's an okay shotgun. What if I gave her an auto mag? It's 40 damage compared to that much. Do that. Armor wise, she's got the good nine armor for more tech. But for a body piece, 26 armor could be good. Oh, wait, nine plus five. This is the same thing. 26. Hmm. I want them to be very armored. What about the goggles? You got plus. Wow, plus 15. Oh, those. Yeah, keep those for body. Uh, Vika Max, you have that. You have a two handed. Weapon, level 9. It's level 2. It's not worth giving you. Yeah, your weapons are pretty good already. Do you have an upgrade yet? No. Oh, you need a helmet, man. He's good at long guns. He said he was good at dialogue when we first got him. So if you need a helmet, you can get more lock picking. Oh, maybe I just give him some more armor. More sneak. More determination. Block. Engineering. Um, I like the long guns. Long guns, and it's 21 armor. I'm going to keep that there. Uh, just throw in some engineering for him for right now, perhaps. Determination block. Yeah, that'd probably be for the best. Lock picking's okay. The rest, I can, I'm going to scrap. All right. Let's go back to weapons, and we'll solve this one. 
Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, if you break this down, you get one more actual weapon part. Oh, you get one down. Pulse hammer. Actually, I already have one here. Picker max. Let's match with everybody. There you go. And armor pieces. It's good to scrap stuff from time to time. Even though we have a lot of it in inventory weight. 16. Sell that. Eh, don't sell that. Just break it down. Three armor pieces. How much do I get from breaking this down? No, that's the same amount. Break that down. Break that down. And we'll break one more. Two more down. Break it down. And break it down. Cool. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Sell. Oh, this is buy. Oh, crap. Sell. Thank you. Very nice. Makes it nice and easy. Dead body. Love it. Pick up everything. I wish it was like a command where you just like, you just walk by something and you pick up everything that's available. That would probably really, really kill your inventory space though. And that's okay with me. I'm a hoarder. Oh, sedentative gas canister. Anticleo's rap tea gone. Huh. Okay, the doom that came to Roseway. Interesting. Oh, I could pick it. Maybe we can go on the other side or something. Uh, pretty much already went through all this. I need to go back that way eventually, but... Nice. Scrap mechanical. Still goes that way. Okie dokie. What's, what's this way? This is a big building. Um, Somehow I thought the lab would be hmm. grander. So would I, but there's a whole lot of stuff here. Heavy machine gun. Vicar Max, I think I found the weapon for you. Oh, terminal. Uh, messages. From E. Finley. Alright, if you want to read that, go right ahead. Porter. Cortez. Alright, nothing of interest that I was really interested in. Weapon parts, very nice. Another gas canister. Who are we gassing today, my friends? Uh, well, since we're here, we might as well grab Anton's data. And then we might continue to go down. Get the data pad. Oh, wow. You got 500 XP for that? Just for buying a room? I love it. I love being a XP ho. Trammel, trammel, trammel. Alright, that was useless. Or very uninteresting, I should say. Examine? Forcibly opened? Um. The prize research is nowhere to be found. I love being rewarded for not finding the stuff I need to find. Eliminate the outlaws, deal with the raptodons, and recover data. Raptodons. Well, time for a new skill, and then we're gonna kill a lot of people, probably. Cool. Nice, we're at level 80. Let's go up to a little 85. Let's continue with the tech bounty. Nice, we got tech up to that level, or medical. Um, we'll put one more to ranged. How about that? How about them apples? And inventory. Oh, we still got more. That's a nice hat, more inspiration. Could use more lock picking though. Really, I could. Uh, we picked up a heavy machine gun and another pulse hammer. And it's a two-handed melee weapon. It's level 12. This is level 10. Not bad. Vicar Max, you already have... Yeah, that's disappointing. Yeah, you want some heavy weaponry. There you go. Let's go kill some people. Things. I don't know. YouTube, I, can I still say that? Who cares? Uh, hey! You! Over here! Oh! Is she someone I can kill? Of course I can. I, you can kill everyone in this game, all except for one person, I've heard. Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Um, I've never met anyone named Crane. I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. 
Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. Um, I could just kill her. All right, tell me, why are you down here, then? Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. Secret research facility, abandoned town, minimal security. All right. No, I'm tracking down a distress call. Oh, let's not do that. Doesn't look like minimal security to me. No, but it is a secret. Well hidden. Off the map. Any place worth hiding is worth raiding. Granted, diet toothpaste is not exactly what comes to mind when I imagine secret research and underground labs. Did you say diet toothpaste? Diet toothpaste. Can you imagine a more pernicious example of corporate materialism? I do not know what is worse. Working here or dying here. Why not both? So you went all this way to get a formula for diet toothpaste. What matters is that I have been lied to. I was led to believe this was a high priority corporate facility hiding valuable research. Who's her contractor? This job was not supposed to end with me stuck in some wretched lab smelling like rats. So I would be very much obliged if you gave me a break. All right. What do you need from me? The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Clio Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the rafts for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. All right, Anton. No, let's not bring him up. All right, I'll help you out. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm in your debt. And all right, sit tight. Take <clears throat> your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. Okay. Uh, sure. Whatever. Could just kill her now, but yeah, we'll wait. Looks a little wet. Is this dead? Or is it still alive? Oh, wait. Hello? Huh? Wait, they're outlaws, but they're not enemies right now. <clears throat> Okay, use the terminal, messages from Agawari, Sprat problem, Baker, alright, nothing interesting, pick up another one of those things. Well, before I go kill everyone who's an outlaw, let's see what's around here. This is a massive place though, Jesus. It's alright, I got him, I got Oh, there's more. I missed. I missed again. Nice. I'll take whatever I can. Eliminate the outlaws. Raptodons, security, raptodons. Lots of raptodons. Oh. I would ask what was on your mind. How'd you get stuck the in there? Is obviously me. Oh, I, get, I almost attacked her. Almost. Oof. This doesn't look very promising. It's dark. I can't see well. And there's not a lot of loot. Not law. Nothing. A lot of dead bodies. I'm thinking I might be getting lost in here. Oh. Oh, let's go up then. Jesus, this is oh. Maybe I should go back and kill the outlaws. 
Yeah, I should probably do that, honestly. But I like where we're headed. An Inferno Scythe. What the heck is that? Um, you have this. I'll make you have a really cool melee weapon. There you go. Gonna do. Oh, it's all the back up here. You damn turncoat! We saw everything. You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. Hold on, hear me out. You got one minute. Starting now. I convinced Cassandra to let you leave in peace. The lab's a wreck. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. Hasn't there been enough death? You did your job? Um, oh, that's not good to say this last sentence. Can't change what's done. I gotta believe that all we've done will mean something to the company. To Doc Crane. That effort will make up for mistakes. This isn't a cause worth dying for. You think the company cares about you? I've worked for Auntie Cleo 18 years. Done my best for them. Always expected they'd do right by us in turn. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Alright then. I created an escape route. Still might attack her. <laughs> they both had something covering at least one of their eyes. But yeah, that was... The dialogue always seems a little bit weird. It's like, you say something and you hope to get a result, but... I don't know, it seems like that wouldn't be the realistic result. But then again, it's a game, so whatever. Finally. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. Uh, let's see. I've unlocked your cell and dealt with the guards. You have to fend for yourself against raps. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind... I have had quite enough of this wretched place. I'm going to need you to turn over that research, huh? Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Uh, I checked around. The data's faulty. You can't sell it for a gob of spit. Because you don't want a price on your head. Damn and blast. I should have seen this coming. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. Alright, see you later. Oh, I could kill her, but eh, I only kill when I need to. Or when I want to have a lot of fun. Deal with the Raptodons. Speak to Anton. Well, Anton, I've got a couple things to kill around here. And if I can kill him, I can kill him. I hope. I think you can just go there if you want. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, oh, that's a mama. A fine hit, Captain. Big mama. Cutes up some stuff. Oh. But big mama no, is no match for me. And a few friends. Disintegration, I love it. Double the hide. Sed sedative gas canister. Oh wait, I was oh crap, I wasn't supposed to kill the mama. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. I killed the mama. Wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, gas If it says gas something, you gotta do it, right? It wants to run away. Do it. Oh, can't use it while in combat. Well, whatever. I wasn't supposed to gas mama. But what happens, happens, you know? Look, I wanted to gas... Okay, maybe it, I did want to blow her up. This spitting effect is not very fun. Ventilate the gas. Well, let's get out of here. Oh, look at that XP. I have 
More enemies around. Thank you. Alright, so... Um, like I said earlier, I don't have a ton of time, so I unfortunately must cut this episode a little bit early, especially compared to my other videos. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. We unfortunately killed a mother. We have gotten quite a bit more XP. We have told Porter to leave this place, and we got the data without killing too many people. Just a few, or too many animals. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below. Um, and I hope to see you all tomorrow, and I hope you have a great, great day.